Childhood is precious. It's a special time with precious memories. But do you know what to do if the unthinkable happens? Unfortunately, many people do not. Sudden cardiac arrest can happen to anyone, even kids. What you'll learn today, you are most likely to use on a friend or a loved one. 90% of sudden cardiac arrests happen at home. Quick bystander CPR could be their only chance for survival. But do you know how to recognize a cardiac arrest? If someone has collapsed, becomes unresponsive, and there is no normal breathing, only gasping, or possibly no breathing at all, you should take action. What does this look like? Besides the lack of normal breathing, the victim may also have some twitching or jerking that resembles a seizure. You must assume this is sudden cardiac arrest. Sudden unresponsiveness means sudden cardiac arrest until proven otherwise. Now pay attention. This is where you can help save a life. First, order one person to call 911. Next, order a second person to get an AED, also known as an automatic external defibrillator. Then immediately begin chest compressions. Place your hand on the center of the victim's chest, between the nipples. Push hard and push fast, about 100 pushes per minute. Each compression should go down at least two inches. Each compression is the victim's heartbeat. Your chest compressions keep blood and oxygen circulating to the brain. This helps to keep the brain alive and free from damage until the heart can be restarted. Use an AED as soon as it arrives. AEDs are accurate and easy to use. You cannot hurt a victim with an AED. It will never shock unless needed. Turn on the AED by opening the lid or pushing the green button. Then follow the verbal prompts and just do what it tells you to do. First, you'll be instructed to remove clothing from the victim's chest. Next, look at the pictures on the pads and apply to the victim's bare chest. The AED will then analyze and determine if a shock is necessary. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. If so, remember to clear the victim before the AED analyzes or shocks. Shock delivered. It is now safe to touch the patient. The AED will ask you to continue CPR for two minutes and then will tell you to stop while it analyzes again to see if a second shock is needed. Never turn an AED off or remove pads. Continue to follow the AED's instructions until EMS arrives. This is a very simple skill that anyone can do. And most importantly, you can never hurt the victim. You can only help. Before you go, remember the chain of survival. Recognize the cardiac arrest. Call 911. Begin CPR. And get an AED as soon as possible. Cardiac death happens in minutes. Rescuers have three to five minutes to save a life making bystander CPR critical. Thank you for learning about bystander CPR and using an AED. You can make a difference. Please pass this video on to someone else. Thanks.